BBLs now are like every chick's getting plastic surgery. Come every to the story, dude. It's ev- it's a, a, a just yeah. a, a circus full of Latinas with fake asses, with fake upgrades, tits, fake lips. Uh, called upgrades. Upgrade. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> they're I, not, I, I they're consider bad. it downgrade. Really? Yeah, they're really big. Go to any airport. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. I get tricked by them like, every time. Oh Brittany's always like, "That's a BB- BBL or whatever," and I'm always like, "Really." Once they you figure out tricked? the next generation, they, I see they have like also. skinny thighs. I know. Yeah. With the, some Latinas have skinny thighs and big butts, though. By some, I mean one. I've no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a BBL though. Could have been an OG BBL. It is nice. It's a nice. Like, My whole life might be a fucking lie. Visual red flag to see someone with all that work done. You're like, that's a fucking. Yeah. That's a, a lunatic. It's a damaged a person. Yeah, I mean, dude. Now I'm telling you, the fucking what uh. What's the shit they call they get all get so Botox? Botox. Yeah. That's like standard. Basic. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. like that's like not to not get it is weird. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like all the other stuff is like, yeah, I mean, obviously you want to fucking God me. damn. Getting facial surgery is so funny. <laughs> I weird. hope I go crazy enough. Uh, me too. If dude. I go crazy enough, dude. Dude, uh, dude, I hope you get Madonna Like, not crazy. get in shape in any way, but just, <laughs> just, just go nuts on my face. Just fucking jawline. Just do nothing with anything else and just get a crazy face. I mean, <laughs> just Joan Rivers, your nose. Matt, we've got to do the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> no expression. Five ads? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, a thick black hair piece. <laughs> hair piece that's it's sliding it's off. It's a turtleneck. Get the hairline down to here. Face. Get the hairline down to the eyebrows. Get some wig bangs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, it's yeah, like you and Gillian That's Keys. one way to do it. Yeah. Is to just oh, end it. God, <laughs> just keep doing bump. stand up. People be so scared. <laughs> 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 you guys remember jacking off <laughs> <laughs> my whole act <laughs> you get a coach buzz an artificial coach buzz a four inch uh, sticking straight up uh, even if you got cheap implants it would be so fucking oh, it'd be, nice. it'd be awesome <laughs> rich white dudes get those cheek implants <laughs> you can see from like yeah. the side <laughs> I mean you would not be able to resist the cat contacts you uh, get feline contacts cat, the cat contacts is the ultimate if you get the feline contacts you've reached the pinnacle dude in 10 years it's just you on tiktok like <laughs> cut my life into yeah. pieces yeah. and it's just all fucking glow pain <laughs> yeah, yeah i might get six pack in implants six, six pack, pack implants, implants would be tight in a bbl there is <laughs> i sent you a picture of a male bbl male bbl men get bbls too now yeah uh. Brittany sent me a picture of a male BBL. Fucking, it, it just made gays? Me laugh. Huh? Just straight guys with chump asses? They're, like they're. I, I was telling. That was the argument. I was telling her. I was like, "It's you got to be." Gay say guys. Trump. Chump. <laughs> I said Trump. I was gonna say Trump. Trump's Trump has a ass fucking ass dog. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah, that does. tennis picture? Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be gay guys. Although gay guys are on the frontier of male beauty products. So whatever gay guys are doing like thirty years ago, should yeah. start doing. It's pretty frightening when they yeah. they, they sure. do it right. Tanning. Nobody did that. That was like. Highly, it was wild when I, I did it in college tiny. once. And yeah, before I went down to Florida, were yeah. you metro? Remember metro? That's not a thing anymore. I was metrosexual for yeah, sure. Metro, yeah. you not- still here? I've I've heard somebody just say that. Like I'm metrosexual. I'm like every, everyone's met. What do you? What this, nowadays? It's like a guy who combs his hair is like a different sexuality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in my I'm hometown, was, yeah. If you wore cologne, did your hair, put hair gel in. I used to crush this kid for wearing hair gel oh. every day. <laughs> Every day in school, yeah. I'd be like, get that shit out of your <laughs> fucking hair. He just got And he saw me like five years later and I'd gel in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, what the fuck? I was like, what? it's cool when I do it. Yeah. I was basically the gay guy with my brothers. Like, I would come down with like when Carpenter jeans yeah. came out first, I'd have it like six months before that. Oh, you're stylish. Really? You're a stylish guy. And you're the hammer loops. And they're don't just, take, they don't just take it like that. Don't take it like that. You, <laughs> you are a stylish guy. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. <laughs> Style, they just call me gay for art. three for three months. They call me gay, and then they'd have that style six months later for another six years. Yeah, that's so they would just they would just get stuck in that, and then just continue to call me gay every time I was in the forefront. And then take it on, yeah. Then fucking be like, all right, it's time. So there's always something every Christmas. Yeah. I'll have something. They're gonna go, dude. What the fuck are you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I go, you you'll be wearing this in three years. It's like Russia with uh, new music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vanilla Ice. Who's this clown? You'll see. Yeah, it is weird that I'm getting old enough, dude. Getting old enough and like just noticing now, chicks wear like baggy pants. That's a baggy jeans or a thing, and I'm just like, 
Well, yeah, it'll come. No, I like it. It'll come back in our favor. Don't worry. But like you watch it, and I'm just like, back. you the get pendulum's it. gonna swing. Pendulum swinging back, baby. I can feel it. Bell bottoms swings. are not. Coming I back. swear to God, dude. Well, summertime. This is them. The what? Not, only for you have to be so fucking hot to rock a bell bottom in my eyes. Mm, yeah. You got to be long. You can't be under five, 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 oh, six. Mm, True. I like it. Yeah, you're right. I do like a tall girl in bell bottoms. Yeah. yeah you need legs. And the ass has to just flow directly into True. a nice thigh. I slipped and fell into the wet <laughs> semen below. <laughs> that is a cowboy in you. I have become recently, I've become a bit of a cow poke. That's yeah. awesome. I was oh, just yeah. in the boot store yesterday. You went to Allen's? I went to it's Allen's. It's nice. It's really nice. It is. I mean, I, I felt like I was from the future. Like, you know. Yeah. Just a fucking grease ball. Yeah. East Coast maniac. I, yeah, I, I, I couldn't. the only guys cannot put on cowboy boots, no, dude. That'll no. bend space time. I put a yeah. hat on. I was like, I gotta stop. I'm disrespecting <laughs> you guys right now. You know what I mean? I look fucking truly. You look sick. I, no, I genuinely look like a retarded. <laughs> <laughs> if I put a cowboy hat on, I look. Shane, actually, if I, if I gave you ten different hats, you'd look retarded. Yeah, true. Baseball cap's the closest one. <laughs> no, I bet you look and sick. He, you just have to commit. I think it's. Trust me on this, Chris. Chris sent down all my shit I left mm-hmm. in the apartment. A cowboy hat is in this building. You gotta put it on. Put it on. I'll show you. You Let put it on. You put it on in black see. out. And it's... Yeah, but don't do it funny. You gotta do it serious. That'd be nice. You gotta put it on the you right. Put angle. it on and wake up, and you're building like a development on some dude's fucking nature preserve. Like, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> this nice girl told me how to put it on. You have to like, you you put it. Oh, you got to put it on the it's front. It's got to be snug enough for the wind not to kick it off. True. So you have to get like a certain. I'm in between a seven and a quarter and second seven and three eighths. The cowboy hat. You didn't pull the trigger on a cowboy hat. No, she said she'd have to stretch it for me to get get. I was like, I'm not wasting yo, your time. I'm not you. buying a fucking six. Like I'm reading what you're. Hat. I'm picking up what you're putting down. How about you chill out, dude? I'm here to get a fucking cowboy hat. Yeah. <laughs> I should though. I should just try it just to have one, you know. Dude, you're tell you you know exactly how you look in a cowboy hat. You love every second of it. Yeah, but then it starts to become like it's a costume. You know, even if I wanted to wear it, it's too All of our clothes are costumes. Our personality is a costume, dude. True, man. Just get deep just get deep into it. I don't like you what listen to this introspective music just talking like this. Your personality is a total costume. It is. It's just a thick it's a thick thing of defense against our childhood fucking. Look at this. Yo Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna talk shit on this? No, dude, that thing's nice. Tommy got me this jacket for my B day. Damn, dude. It's It's birthday this week. It's fucking nice. Monday. I was a damn builder. <laughs> you don't think you look sick, dude? I don't. I also don't know what which do you think, way dude? to wear it. It's nasty as fuck. It for real is nasty as fuck. 10 out of 10 drip severe. I Thank think you. you just have to commit to it for like a week and a half. I'll never wear it. Uh, cowboy Out hat. here it'd be yeah. perfect. Yeah. No, it's crazy to do that. It is the perfect hat, though, for a dude. I, it's the straightest yeah. hat possible. And when you're this big, if I had that size, I'd make, I'd make some decisions. Yeah. yeah. True. Now, in the house and out of the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pure domination. With a hat like that? It's time to dominate. I'm going to put on the hat. <laughs> Chicks love that stuff. Yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy was explaining how you have, say, to, like, you have to put I get it on. and you have a Coca-Cola with my chicken tenders? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have the chicken tenders. <laughs> this would be perfect with your future face. You should start doing that for stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have a kid's menu? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get the quesadilla? <laughs> just cheese, no salsa. <laughs> You're just on a Vespa? It's plain. Take it back to the window. What is this green stuff? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want that. You should take a nap on stage and put it down over your eyes and just make let me rest right here and Ooh. just take a nap. <laughs> Get and done. then just lift your hat up every five minutes. You go, well, let me tell you a little something about hey, this. Hey, folks, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking tight. Yeah, my... Uh, hey, awesome. let me tell you a little story. My uh, my uncle's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you a little tale about uh, my retarded uncle. His hunger required some grilled cheese sandwiches. Boy's meaner than a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> and boy's sweeter than... <laughs> Your mama on the front door lemonade sitting around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, Mama's backstrap molasses pancakes on a Sunday morning. Oh, you get some of them flapjacks <laughs> coming out of the old water. <laughs> flapjacks. <laughs> back out for half hour. <laughs> 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 just like, just like. <laughs> <laughs> There's an arena full of people <laughs> on the edge of their seats. They're just like, this guy is a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's asleep again. This is my favorite. He reminds part. me of guys from my hometown. That's what I like. About <laughs> <him>. <laughs> yeah, Cowboy has to make it. They should actually make a comeback. They should not even a comeback because they haven't really been in there. But the special needs community could get in big into. Uh, you know what I mean? Just, oh yeah. Just be like, I'm just a cowboy. Y- yeah. Like I'm a simple kind of guy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just a simple man. I have small, simple pleasures. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making like a <laughs> plantation on I told you Mexican uh, guys. Mexican guys do this. Oh yeah. yeah. They come up here Dude. and they're like we're cowboys. They are. Yeah. I mean they technically were cowboys yeah. up here. The pointy Before shoes. Us? We all, we did a little Probably. map. We did a little map nah. changing on them. We're like, whoa, whoa, here the whoa, check it out. The country's totally different. Sorry, guys. I mean, you do. You should allow your special needs kid to just dress up every day, right? Because then oh, it's kind of like a, it's sure. like a little girl being a princess in, in the afternoon. Yeah, wearing yeah. a whole getup. Yeah, I mean, I think people are letting their kids literally change fucking genitals. sexes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. You can let them wear whatever you want. If I, yeah, if you I let your special needs kid get <laughs> fucking double <laughs> pumped <laughs> shit on people, and you're like, oh my god, yeah, this this is so stupid. And then he transferred up to that school. But it was yeah, we had Kobe in our area. Like Kobe, my, my really? My cousin yeah. had to play against Kobe in a summer league and was just like, yeah. He's like, dude, my cousin was really good too, and he was just like, dude, it was just, he's a freak, and it, you just felt like crazy. Yeah, I remember seeing a kid in high school, like we went to the gym, and we uh, like the high school gym, and that this was like at this big high school in Milwaukee suburbs. You know, we all played high school. We all played basketball in middle school. Yeah. So we're like, let's just go to the the gym here. And this kid does the uh, the cup. He cups the ball here. Yeah. Uh. And then he goes like that and dunks. We were like, what the fuck? Oh, we have to go home. Like, yeah, we're not playing basketball we're on at all. Yeah. yeah. yeah Ketamine just kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go home. I'm going to dissociate I'm going to go now. sit. Yeah. Give me a blanket. Let me lay down for 45 minutes until these guys leave. I didn't know you got stuck on the ket. Jeez. I got stuck. I was in a K hole, dude. You it was were. the most embarrassing shit possible. After getting beat up all day, <laughs> I took it to the next you level. You processed, though. You I processed. took it to the next level, dude. You processed. The they gave me pizza. Hut. They were like, you need something to eat. I was, just, I was like, this is the best pizza I've ever had. They're like, this is disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting shit. I was like, it's so good. It's so good, dude. <laughs> Saved your life. It did. Pizza, pizza, hunt, saved your pizza life. brought me back. It grounded your body. Your spirit body needed to be grounded with like fat and grease Dude, just back. <laughs> you're <the> coming down <laughs> from Canada, sobering up and just being like, what a fucking embarrassment. <laughs> Why would I do drugs? I know I can't do drugs. I just did ayahuasca. In, uh, did you really? Yeah. The, well, that's, but the that's baked, nice. The baked, the chocolate, like the, they cook. So you don't have to go through the vomiting what? diarrhea. They they cook it down into these. Tri- it doesn't taste good, yeah, but yeah. it's way better than have like the authentic version. And I'm so fucking stupid that I everyone I've told to they're like, "What are you fucking retarded?" Like I ate it at night right before. I was like, "I'll eat it before bed." I'm like, It'll help me go to bed. <laughs> I was just like wanting to feel a buzz, and then I was just like, wait in bed. I was like, ah, <laughs> how like, strong just, like, was it? T- it was too strong. Wait, it you was, took just ayahuasca just on a whim? Yeah, like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I thought you were like with a shaman, like no, no, having no. a guided. I, no, here's the thing. The shaman gave it, sent it to me Dude, with instructions. I didn't read them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. look. I read them the next day and they were like, go into this with intention. And like, you know, yeah. I just ate it and I was just in bed like, what the fuck? I need to, I shouldn't be on tour this much. Like, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like it was fucking, it was yeah, you're on like DMT basically. Oh, for, yeah. And forever. I look over at the clock and it's like four and I'm like, oh, like I'm yeah. not going to sleep at all tonight. Yeah. Oh my God. That's like insane. Yeah, it was experience. stupid. Yeah. How hey, long did it last? Ayahuasca chocolates now? I think I went to, I went to bed around 6 a.m., you know, and I slept like two hours and then. God. But I mean, I was whacked. That you changed day. guy. I was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody was like, why would you lie? And I was yeah. like, I just got it in my head because I'd had these like edibles that were like <laughs> 10 million, 10 million edibles. edibles. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'll eat one of these. Yeah, whatever. And go to, and I was out. I was like, I'll just eat the ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> It's so stupid. Yeah. I was so fucking out of my mind. I have that Molly in my room that someone who isn't me gave yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And they're just burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah. And I just look at them every night. I'm like, I should just hang out yeah. and take Molly. Yeah. I'm so afraid to do it. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've done it before and it's great, but just doing it on like a basically a school night. Yeah. yeah that's insane, true. dude. Yeah. I would just sit here and play a video game and it's coming though. Yeah, I do get those scared. Go bad? I, I do get scared. Do those go bad? Kick, I don't think so. No. 
It's just in like a crystalline form. It should yeah. last forever. I get scared. When things kick in on me, I'm like, oh, fuck, here it comes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, oh, that sounds terrifying. Yeah. Ayahuasca, when you weren't, obviously you weren't quite sure of what it was going to do. I, well, well, here's the thing. And I had a guided experience before. Okay. Where like that yeah. one was cool with like the shaman and, and that was, you know, a, a whole thing where it was fucking a whole day of that. Yeah. Um, but they were like watching you and, you know. So you knew what you're getting into then. <laughs> I just I just got it was just like when your brain goes, yeah, yeah, nah, it'll yeah, be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Just being stupid. Yeah, it was just yeah. I've done that with edibles where I just like I'll like impulsively be like and gobble them up and then like have to go to like a kid's party and I'm yeah, like, and you're like what? Oh, why did I do that? I feel yeah. like kicking yeah. like, I didn't even know I ate that. Yeah. Or you you just tell yourself, it won't affect me like that. <laughs> like it does normally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in a different be, place now. I think yeah. I'll just flow with it. Matt There's used like, to make edibles and we yeah. would a, he would test them out on me sometimes. Yeah. And that, yeah, I really? would forget. I would, I would forget. Like I ate commercially. Them. I'd make like thousands of them. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't the dosage wasn't precise in Evenly the early split, stages. Nah. Nah, it's like coconut oil. So like the, the water skizzlers, and the fat. Dude. Will, the skizzlers were the skizzlers nice. Will knock you out. Yeah, I almost blew our kitchen up. I was making like an Everclear tincture, and I was just boiling it on the stove on a gas stove like an idiot. Ever so lightly, and it just like, <laughs> like Jane, Jane, Jane. I, was, I was playing Xbox I was, for Shane. I was just sitting there on like a folding chair in front of a shitty TV, a giant flame. Matt, Matt's panic skills are out of control, dude. The fire starts. He's like, I, oh. I, run, I, I run in circles when I panic. If I'm panicking, I just run in a circle like an animal. It's bizarre. He saw me. I cut my finger. It's the same thing. I was yeah. squirting blood out of my finger, and I just ran in a circle, just going. Ah! And he's like, "Dude, dude, you got to go to the hospital." Yeah. Like, okay, take me, please. I do not. Yeah, I freak. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm off the edibles right now. I'm, I've been being good, it easy on them. Yeah. yeah, I was picking out for decades. What's your like? So is is your are you like a roll a joint guy? Or are you? Yeah, yeah, I can smoking weed. I can smoke it. And I'm like, you're fine. Yeah, if I eat it, I get fucking. Whacked. I can't. I can't even tell when you're high. Yeah, if I like, smoke. not really. I can no. tell when you're fucking very high. Yeah, yeah. But if you're like a little high, I have no. No, it's so I can it's smoke not like Lemizi. you can see it. Yeah, true. <laughs> like right now, I can see his eyes. He's not high. I'm not high right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm straight and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> Shut no, down. He's high. He just comes in. Just I'm a like, very <laughs> obvious tell. I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't hide it at all. Wait. So what was the bedtime ayahuasca experience like? It was just you. The yeah. What happened? The, just the, the, see anything? No. Well, here's the thing: is like at first when it comes when it first comes on, it does feel like an edible is hitting you because it's just kind of starting. Mm -hmm. So. Like in other words, like you go, oh okay, I feel I feel a little buzz starts a little bit of a body high. You put your nightcap on, you're like, you're like, like yeah, <laughs> good. I'm like, this is gonna be nice. I'm just gonna fall asleep now, you know. <laughs> and then your brain's like, here's things that you shelve. <laughs> oh. like, no. And then, Ooh. but here's the thing, and then you start to feel it. Laying in bed, that happens anyway. Yeah, that's true. But, but you this can is, see them probably. It's oh magnified. My God. It's magnified. But also on top of that a lot of physical like your whole body starts you know vibrating and yes. and so you're just kind of like oh shit and then the the thoughts just kind of grow and, and it was it wasn't panic it's not like mm -hmm. you know how like you can get paranoid on like a really strong it's not like oh, yeah. that but you just kind of start ruminating and thinking about things and and there's no way to switch it off yeah. like but also in a, in a way it's kind of nice because hours go by and you're not like i wish this would end you're just kind of like lost in your thoughts and whatever Holy you're thinking fuck. about, but you're, you're physically like, I remember at one point I was like, Oh, I can't get up right now. Like I'm too high to stand up, yeah. you know? And I'm just, and I look over and it's like three and I was like, Ooh, I'm just gonna, I think <laughs> I, I think I need to pee. I, 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna piss. I'm just gonna piss in this bed. Yeah. I'm piss my pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pissed in the bed. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Someone will clean it up. Piss in the bed is a nice feeling. I pissed one time <laughs> in, a, in the yeah. bed. When I was seventeen, did you really? I, I, you know, it hadn't happened since like childhood, and I remember waking up and being like, coming from like a vivid dream where I pissed in the yeah, dream, yeah, yeah, and I was like, "You've got to be fucking shitting me!" I couldn't believe it, and I was so mortified that I just flipped the mattress over, like I can't move. I it is embarrassing. Took the sheets off, flipped the mattress, and that was it. If Dude. I piss, I'm I'm obviously I'm just shit faced. Yeah, yeah. Uh, haven't done it in a while. Praise Allah. But yeah. yeah. Uh, but you, when you go to like the beach or something, it's fun to just piss your pants before you get in the water. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It's yeah. awesome. It's a great feeling. Yeah, piss your pants is a good feeling. It is nice. 
You Got pissed it. your pants. Didn't you just piss your pants as a fucking experiment the other day? <laughs> that was a long time ago. I, it was an experiment. I was drunk and I had to drop a bike off and it was warm. It was nice. Oh, yes. you did it recently? Yeah, like two months ago. I thought you were talking about during your mental breakdown. <laughs> you were you just like yourself. Yeah. I think that was it. You just oh, standing yeah. outside and you're just like, I'm going to piss right here? No, wait, yeah. you pissed twice? What was it? <laughs> he did it one time at a low point in his life. He had a the psychotic break. The low point break. was at Walmart, right? Yeah, yeah that yeah, was at Walmart. Walmart. You were standing Walmart. at Walmart? Yeah, I was working and I wanted to see if anybody would know and I just pissed. Nobody knew. I you out. Out. Jesus I right Christ. <laughs> and then you're just standing in a pool of piss? No, it was just... It no, just, he trailed it. It ruined probably, my pants. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it ruined my pants. <laughs> oh, so you soaked your pants <laughs> and stopped. Yeah, yeah. puddle. Yeah. I soaked my pants. It didn't make it... It didn't puddle. It didn't puddle. Okay. Did you just no say, puddles. I quit? <laughs> Did you... You were working and you decided to piss I wasn't pants. working at Walmart. I was doing like Aramark, like the snacks, handing out snacks and stuff. I was like, you were handing out snacks and you just stood there and pissed yourself? Not, not the snack <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> my shift was over and I was like, all right, okay, I can't walk home. I just, yeah, I'm blowing up Steve. Yeah, he's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. You decided to pee yourself before the walk home. So crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're I, reality I, testing. You were deep in inception. No, I was mad. That's your spinning top. Just yeah. Yeah. This is a way crazier story than any of this drug shit we're talking about. Like, <laughs> That's so weird. You're just standing in Walmart pissing. <laughs> What was the yeah, latest piss? The latest one, I was you drunk. Promise me you never do it again. I, I'm not. I was drunk and I, I had <laughs> to drop swore. off a city bike. <laughs> I had to drop off a city bike. City bike. <laughs> I dropped off the city bike and then I, I had to go home, but it needed me to take a picture of the city bike. So I had to walk back to the city bike and I filled up with piss so quickly. And I took a picture and I had to make a choice. It was like either piss my pants or like. Pull your pants down and piss in yeah, front of the school, the... though. It was a kid's uh, school. Good a kid's oh, school. Of... Not an adult <laughs> school. What time was it? It's it's a it was midnight. <laughs> yeah, you can piss. Yeah, but you get the pedo charge if they can. I mean, uh, yeah, against hours. Yeah. You did the right thing. Dude, you pissed, your pants. No way you pissed your pants for the kids. Yeah. So, wait, did you just, you just stood there and pissed? Like, I did just stand there and piss. <laughs> did you just let a little bit of pressure off? But that one had a pool. No, I. I full pissed. No, oh, it, was, it was. It, it like, must have been a huge pit. If you were it drunk, went, it went in my socks. It was in my <laughs> shoes. What shoes are you wearing? Uh, Definitely not these, those. Not these. Not these. <laughs> those are the only shoes you no, have. I got different shoes, dude. I got different shoes. <laughs> you lying, dude? Those I'm are not those lying, shoes. dude. It was a different pair of Pumas. I swear. <laughs> it was a different pair of Pumas. <laughs> were you piss Pumas? I don't believe. I don't believe that piss in front of a school thing. No, what, those cops would let you go. Yeah. If you get caught with that, they're fucking, you were doing something. Yeah, that's true. And then you're like, no, nah, I was just taking a pit. It's like, no. Nah, yeah, that's, you that's a fair point, actually. You were doing something else. Or you just thought, like, or if you're like really talking shit to a cop about it, that's, that's yeah. how they get you. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> if you're hammered, you're like, what are you going to fucking like, do, yeah. pussy? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a pedophile now. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice badge, pit. <laughs> I do. You just wrapped it. You wrapped it in blanket. You're wearing like a uh, we fucking scarf on your head. And, uh, Excuse me. What they say? Is it? It's email? probably. It's probably just. Uh, it's probably a survey. Like, thank you. Yeah. Fuck Thanks that. for coming. They said I was good. I'm good. You're good, bro. I'm never going back. Joe Dispenza, dude. So far, my you are the placebo. stomach feels okay with this yogurt. It could be time to. You're probably jump. fine. You had an inflamed stomach. Inflammation's a warning shot yeah. from the body. It did hurt. Uh, severely last like last night while i was going to bed so i'm still it's not like it's gone just yet there's no, still no, probably no. there's still gonna be some rumblings it's look tender. i'm not jumping straight back in i'm not gonna go get <clears throat> shit face yeah for sure but it's tender i got a tender belly you have cow you have cowboy belly yeah you had a bad case of cowboy belly. <laughs> oh my god Dang. but yeah it's it's uh, it sucks when you're like doing stuff and the body just fucking is like nope i'm done and you're like yeah no, come on man come on we're having such a fun time. It's really not up to my body, though. You're in charge? My body tells me no. <laughs> but I won't quit because I want more. That's what I sing, dude. You guys like that song. You like Young the Giant over there, Big Superstar? You never even heard of Young the Giant. What's your favorite band? I've heard of them, but uh, I used to like RHCP a lot, too. I got all their records on CD. Do you, dude, you, you got Red do, Hot Chili Peppers CDs? That'd be tight. For Every an evening with Sean Gardini, just have like, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just come out, to, <laughs> come out to that song. <laughs> how long, how long will I slide? Hey, thanks, dude, guys. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> 
<gasps> Good idea. Suck my kiss. <laughs> Wait, are you going to suck someone's kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That was where, you, where are you going to film an evening with Sean Jardini? <laughs> I'm never gonna film, dude. Why, why are not? you? What's wrong? Why are you bashful all of a sudden? I know how you are. <laughs> always dude. No, I know the real you. <laughs> what's the real me? Arrogant. I've seen you. Yes. Really? You're you mean to like this. open micers. No, I'm not. You're like, yeah, I was just in Austin. No, I don't. Just doing the road a lot now. I miss anything? God, it's hard, dude. I've Do just you been shit doing on the road. Open micers now? No. Really? I don't shit on anybody. I mind my P's and Q's. But in your head, in your internal monologue, if you see them, you're like, this guy's never set foot on a fucking airplane. <laughs> Dumbass bitch. He's never going to be able to open for me. Is that what you say in your head? You go, I'm not bringing him with me to the top. Yeah. Who would you bring to open for you? <laughs> yeah, who'd you bring to the top? <laughs> uh, you got to pick someone, dude. You got to grab my boys. friend, Big Chris. Big shout out, Big Chris. Big Chris, he's, he's the guy you're going to bring to the yeah. top? Yep. Nice. Uh, you better watch out. He might bring you. He might. He's very funny. You better True. watch out. I've seen him do stand up. He might be bringing you. True, I don't know why you're pretty, counting your fucking That's a pretty you're presumptuous statement. Chickens, dude. That's a pretty presumptuous they statement. They have not hatched. I know you're a big superstar right now. You got a lot of fans. <laughs> Can we talk about the Bohemian, Bohemian Grove, Grove stuff again? No, no, no. I'm having a good time with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, me and Big Chris are going to do a team thing. A team thing? Like, yeah. a, like, like what? Bump, oh, yeah, we're bumping bump. mics. What's we're bumping bump mics? Up. Like Just, you two together? Or maybe no. Do you want to join me? Yeah, sure. I'll join you. Okay. <laughs> that's a good way to get us to stop doing this by being not funny. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's usually what I do every single time. <laughs> that's usually pretty, yeah, no. You and you and Chris should do a little tag team thing. You guys do open or uh, bump Big mics. Chrissy. I think so too. That'd be because sick. People would love funny. to do that. Because you know what I like to go? Man, when I go see a show, <laughs> I want to see not one guy that I wouldn't pay to go see. I want to see two guys I would never pay to go see at the same time. Yeah. Sean, what's really going on inside of you right now? I see you're putting up a nice point front. In his head, he's like, Rage. I'm going to be so much bigger than everybody. No, I'm not. I <laughs> feel that way. <laughs> Somebody was just talking you about you. Project so many things on. Somebody too. was saying how funny you were recently. Oh, we were. It was right here. It was fucking Adam. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Bro. You went and did funny mom, dude. Once you got the cum boys approval, that's a big thing. That feels good when you get their approval. <laughs> True. Because they're, they're they they're like guys that I want to think I'm funny because they seem to not like anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty big. I, I did pretty bad. I, I, that show was crazy though. I did a yeah. trance joke and everyone got really mad at me. Really? <laughs> they were they liked me up until then. You're pretty like a real guy. You're very sweet. That's why you're yeah. going to be the next the biggest superstar of Sean Gardini. <laughs> An evening with the superstar of Sean Gardini. Welcome. Hello. 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 Uh, hey. Uh, uh, trans people are freaks. Uh, uh, <laughs> how about give it up for my opener, Chris? Uh, <laughs> He's lucky I took him on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the superstar here. <laughs> oh my god! Don't do that, dude. How dare you? Like, you what? sulking, dude. No, <laughs> Just pretend, you, you, I know what you're doing. You're trying to make us look like the bad guys. Not at all. Just no, you I'm can't not. do that, dude. <laughs> I'm We're not. fucking, dude. You're gonna be under an immense amount of pressure, dude. You gotta get used to it. Yeah, you saw. Oh, uh, you weren't here. You, you gotta take business calls all the time, and you gotta pretend to know what you're talking about. They're like, "What do you want us to do with your money? We're setting things up." I'm like, "Invest high growth, high <laughs> growth, <laughs> quarter three, <laughs> invest <laughs> stonks." It is fun. It is funny stonks. how the entire time you're doing stand up, everyone's convincing you why they shouldn't pay you anything. They're like, no, this will be good for you just to do this for free. And eventually people start paying you and being like, no, you actually need a lot of money. And you're like, uh, yeah, out of nowhere, it, it goes yeah, from so zero to the most money. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden there's just people that are like, let me hold your money. Yeah. Uh, it's like, all right. Yeah, you guys take it. <laughs> I'll go back to zero. True. That'd be tight. Back to zero dollars. Big cheap. It's out. coming. Eventually, I'll, you know, be tight. No, probably not. You don't. I might die. True. I might die before I lose it. But you eventually get you to. get too old to do stand up. Yeah. So you got to make it while while it's hot. You got to get make some money. It, store it, yeah. Cuz eventually you're going to be old and just not funny anymore. Yeah. That's going to be tough. You can still do it though. It can happen. Do. Yeah. 
it's kind of sad yeah, when yeah. they do, but yeah. I mean, dude, actually, yeah, I'd pay to go see some geezers. Be funny. It is funny. It's funny when a geezer is fucking around talking about dicks and pussies. Yeah, kind of nice. Yeah, and you can just yeah, it's, you can go all day long and go around. Dude, I mean, your options are speaking what? of geezer. You see the boss man lately? No, he looks great. Does he just he? turned like sixty five. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. He's like my favorite dude. He does. I rule. get so happy to see that guy. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if being like a state of like, I don't know why. Why do you think it is that like? But he's one of the examples of still fun. He's geezed up. Yeah, and he's getting funnier. Yeah, but he's fully slid into his geezerdom though. Yeah, like if you can't embrace geezerdom, you're he really get reminds me of Phil. He yeah, does have a very yeah. similar Phil sense of humor on stage. Yeah, yeah. Like what's up? Don't worry, don't worry, sir. You're not gonna miss your bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. That fuck so funny. <laughs> We get the mics? Yes. What yes. he said was so funny, and they got so mad. What did he say? There's something about indigenous people, and then they were leaving. He was like, you go back to your fucking wigwam. Or something like that. <laughs> Some indigenous women, I think, were leaving his show, and he said something about wigwam or igloo. Go back to your fucking igloo or wigwam. <laughs> they, like and like they get the government, the, the government know, super involved. serious in Canada. Yeah, don't, are they locking it, people up in Canada? Yeah, they don't believe in free speech, dude. That's not a right. What? True dope. That's my Aunt Kathy calls him. True dope. True dope. She lives. Oh yeah, you guys don't understand seasoning. <laughs> just put habanero <laughs> sauce on a it. Bowl of hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. a front, po- like a fruit punch bowl of hot sauce. No, it was a uh, yeah. No, you you put it in a sugar salt herb combination and like it penetrates into the flesh and flavors the flesh of the turkey. Nice. I'm gonna knock their fucking socks off. Dude. I think you will. If, if be, not, yeah. it's going to be the house will totally melt down. If that turkey doesn't come out right, Whew. the whole that house thing is dry. Down. Do you have a you baster? Yeah, I got wow. a baster. I need a baster. <laughs> I got a baster. I got a, flavor, I got a flavor injector. This is big. This it's is huge, like a, man. a racial pressure of making it. I'm, yeah. I'm representing, dude. I'm fucking. You I'm have putting, to represent. I'm represent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got to become the colonel. We can talk about it. I got <laughs> bullied, dude. This is why I try not to wear cool stuff. Whenever I wear cool, I, I literally put on a represent t-shirt. That one? Not this one. A different one. That's <laughs> oh. all I have. I, they gave me a box of represent t-shirts. <laughs> all I wear is represent t-shirts. Uh, but I, one of them just says represent huge across the back. And I was like, I'm just going to get coffee. I literally, when I put it on, I was like, why do I care? No one cares. This doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen. I went into this coffee shop. This guy goes, all right, you can go ahead in front of me. We're going to take a while to order. And I start going. And he pulled his wife back from the counter. It was like, you gotta let this guy go first. He's representing right now. <laughs> like, oh, Sometimes guy, they just gotta feel like the big fella for a little yeah, bit. But why do, why, why do you do that to me? You should have just turned around and go, just out of curiosity, what's the point of it? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Does that make you why feel do good bad when things you, happen when you talk about people. me like that? You should have spazzed, dude. I could have I should have bent down and screamed as loud as I could in his daughter's face. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't big i could have had him i could have mangled his family yeah this fucking have. dude when i was in liverpool this dude, oh, dude. this this dude was oh, like are you no. filming my kids and i was like nah dude my gopro's off i was just trying to buy a backpack so my backpack broke and this fucking guy just goes he starts talking to his wife pointing at me basically accusing me of videotaping little kids that's dude, high I treason. To, you know, I could have killed this fucking dude. He was like in his fifties. Oh, yeah. he accused you of being a pedo. Yeah, man. He pedo popped. He tried a pedo pop. I hope that dude feels Andrew. good. I hope he feels like a big boy <laughs> tip right now. Fuck, I wanted to kill this. What'd you do? Did you just turn Nothing, around? I just stood in line. I was like laughing. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm filming your kids, dude. I, I, in my head, I was like, I'm gonna give him his fantasy. Like, why yeah, did you? Why did you just? Why did <laughs> you? Yeah. Say, dude, I film little kids, and I really like your kids. That's you what I'm. You should have been like, dude. The only reason you're saying that is because you think about filming your kids all the time. I mean, Damn. I don't. You're I don't the play pedophile, those. Not me, dude. Yeah, I don't play those games. I was, <laughs> Rubber glue. In my head, I was like stuttering, silent, and for an hours after that, I thought about rage, dude. Rage. <laughs> I'd be so mad if someone yeah. accused me of pedophilia. Uh, it's a fucking heavy charge if they're like yo stop that is crazy that's what i told him i was like that's like a grounds for a fist fight oh big time dude. Like, there's nothing i was like trying to think of like things that would yeah, but then you're violent. risking it all because if you lose you are a pedophile <laughs> <laughs> or you lost the fight it would be like i beat the shit out of a pedophile I, a 50 something year old dad i have so much rage dude yeah i know there's been, no... you got you got big you look good <clears throat> oh, thanks, man. That would be nice to be like, camera's on now, and I'm going to beat your ass, dude. Bum fights. Dude, if you record yeah. yourself, <laughs> dude, you with record a yourself having duels across Europe. You should have fought for the honor of his children. You should have said, if I win, I get them then. I was True. imagining it's throwing down the steps and stuff. Really? You are thinking bad things? Yeah. Dark stuff. Couldn't imagine what goes on up here. He invited it, dude. He did invite it on himself. 
You should have dueled him. It should have just been like full out hockey, like drop everything and go. <laughs> yeah, drop <laughs> <your girls. laughs> Throw mean, your GoPro yeah. down and go. That's why I was laughing when you said he's screaming in the little girl's face. Like that would have been hilarious. True. I don't even like you. <laughs> You're not even hot to me. You're going to probably be hot eventually, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even what I'm into right now. That's like to kiss party your thing, You should have fucking started That's not a party. <laughs> No, that no, is no. not a party. What? Getting accused of being a chomo in public? <laughs> no, no, dude. In another country, too, they could have fucking... Literally just have a camera on my chest. What the fuck do you want to do? What yeah, do you want dude. me to do? That is wild as fuck, though. Yeah. That's like bums seeing drones. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? If you just see a dude on a public transportation wearing a camera vest, I'd be like, what are you, yeah. fucking child rage? <laughs> why you, why <laughs> you think Come like on that? out, you What are you, the worst thing I can think of? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, should we? Well, actually, in fact, in fact, sir, I am. My intention is I to am. film your children. I would never touch them. There's it's a minor attracted person. It's actually legal. We are in public. <laughs> I, I'm filming your kids. Yeah, like the Black Panther Party used to do it. They used to film, film the police. The, they used to the film po. the police, yeah. Or like, used to have parties. Fall, fall they squirrel busted the police? Them. Huh? They squirrel busted the police? They used to just watch them from like 10 feet away and be like, we are allowed to watch you. They were the first dudes on YouTube to be like, I know my rights, sir. You cannot pull me yeah. out. Uh, sovereign citizens? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is the tightest YouTube hole. Oh, my God. It's, you can watch it forever. Sir, I do not have to roll it, down my window to talk to you. This is enough for me to thank you, sir. Please give me my it paperwork. It pisses me off so much. Dude, they're so funny. Also <laughs> presents himself in court. I know. I, I usually am not supportive, but then I see a dude being like, actually, no. I'm like, beat his ass, dude. I'm a cop. <laughs> pulls his ass out of the car. <laughs> they do. The cops spaz and yank him out of cars and shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. There's certain states. I, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure this is true where you can like technically try to pull a cop over. There's certain states if you pull up on a yeah, cop, they have to pull over. You can pull them over and be like, I just want to check to make sure like you guys are who you say you, you are. They work the for us. You, you can, can audit them. Huh? You can audit a cop. Yeah, you can pull them over and then you can be like, I'm a You have to be a fucking psycho to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You you're allowed to. Over. You can pull them over and be like, I'm, like, what's your badge number? What's this? And you be like, can I call your... And then you can, I think you can like verify that they're who they say they are or That's something. Important. Pretty tight. There's a lot of dudes who roll around with, like fucking the lights, and they have regular like ye- are yellow <laughs> and white ones, and then every now the like, cops will pull like let me check it all, and it's like red and blue. It's like why do you have this? Like, oh, I do like stuff. I'm like a contractor. I do stuff on my own. It's like you're not allowed to have this. There's just dudes over there pretending to be cops. <laughs> That'd be fun to do. That's if you're a retired. nice job. Auditing that cops is. if you're retired would be nice. Hidden the hidden the lights on people. <sighs> Occasionally, you're going to get a high speed chase. <laughs> Dude. Somebody's going to run oh, when yeah. you hit those lights. Then that's a fun night. Yeah. Oh, my God. And you just don't even chase them. Dude, I, I'm telling you, I thought about being a cop for so long. <laughs> you would be a yeah, brutal, be a brutal cop. cop. I'd be tough. I'd be cool. I'd You'd be, be cop like You'd be fair. Matt. It's you would not. You'd be a brutal cop. I'd be you would fair. Slowly you're turn allowed into to be a brutal, brutal cop. cop. Don't worry. Dude, I'd be so fair. You would be like the wire. I'd be so chill. McNulty, bro. Now, yeah, you couldn't you couldn't stay away from the grease. You'd be a dirty cop within like three years. I would be a dirty years. cop. Yeah. I remember hearing about... You'd be a dirty cop oh right away. God, so yeah. bad. Yeah, there's got to be a way to make some money. <laughs> I, remember, I remember hearing about... They used to do these things in Baltimore. They're called backpack pops. If they see a dude with a school bag, they would go, whoop, whoop, the same thing. Like, see yeah. if he would... Like, they would throw the backpack down and run. They would just take it, confiscate their drugs. But there was a guys in Philly that were just going through, like, convenience stores and just fucking be like, give us money. Nice. They're fully just extorted. I'm just like, yo, pay us. That's pretty much what... That's what people spaz out and say cops are. What? They just do that shit all the time. No, they don't, dude. I'm a thin blue. I got, man, I got their sex. So it's like, that's, I'm with <laughs> cops. You're things. with cops? I had their sex until they gave me a speeding ticket in Arizona. Those, <laughs> that's literally <laughs> all it takes. <laughs> those big fucks. Was it state troopers or was it a... Uh... I don't know. Was it a... No, it was Yuma County. Motherfucker got me. Motherfucker. Took that 310. What? I don't know what it was, dude. It was so straight and long pause. And I was like, just <laughs> driving down the whole time. And you like, you lose yourself. The cop sped away. You lost yourself? Yeah. In the music and the moment. <laughs> Fucking, I'm driving down. And this dude's hiding behind a cliff. Yeah. And then and he, got, he got you. He brake checked you. He, he brake checked He warned me. you. And That's then you safe. got caught. Yeah. Brake checking someone on the highway. It's like, dude. How much was the ticket? $400. Damn. How fast were you going? I was in a Dodge Durango, so I think I was targeted. Probably. <laughs> that's a, that's actually an undercover cop car. Yeah, but that's why I kept telling Spade the whole time we were driving. When I saw a cop, I had a six. And then they fucking pulled me over. <laughs> God. I should have ran an audit on them. <laughs> you should have. Yeah, I watch videos where they do audit. They walk, journalists walk in and start auditing people. It's nuts. It's all in the whole YouTube hole or TikTok hole or whatever of... Um, busting pedos, yeah. stealing valor, all this True. shit. Yeah. Are you on the talk right now? 
Uh, I was to try to make intros. He just does dances. But I'm just the IDF girls. I mean, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Look at me. Did you do that dance. <laughs> That's what? a good idea. For that one. No. That's the only TikTok one I I I'm confident I could do. Dude, that was a huge thing before. You know that t- one. You know that one. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Before Ashley TikTok, look at me, like, and then they just do that. I'm so it's very exciting. Really. Yeah, it'll get you. You watch it. You My know. wife wants nothing more than for us to do interracial TikTok dance. Holy oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. Please do, like do it. Internet, social media couple. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Please They'll do raise it. Your, wants raise to your relationship videos. to the next level. Well, they also... Say, yeah. <laughs> Tommy was explaining how you, have to, say, you have to I put it on and you have a Coca-Cola with my chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have the chicken tenders. <laughs> this would be perfect with your future face. You should start doing that for stand up. <laughs> you guys have a kid's menu? <laughs> Can I get the quesadilla? <laughs> just cheese, no salsa. <laughs> You're just on a Vespa? Just plain. Take it back to the window. What is this green stuff? (laughs) I didn't want that. You should take a nap on stage and put it down over your eyes and just make let me rest here and just take a nap. (laughs) And then just lift your hat up every five minutes. Go, let me tell you a little something about this. Hey, folks, let me tell you a little story. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be fucking tight. Yeah, my uh, hey, let me tell you a little story. My uh, my uncle's retarded. (laughs) Let me tell you a little tale about uh, my retarded uncle. His hunger required some grilled cheese sandwiches. Boys meaner than a rattlesnake. <laughs> and boys sweeter than your mama on the front door lemonade sitting around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Mama's backstrap molasses pancakes on a Sunday morning. Oh, you get some of them flapjacks that come out of the world. <laughs> flapjacks. <laughs> back out for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like. <laughs> There's an arena full of people on the edge of their seats. They're just like, this guy is a fucking genius. <laughs> He's asleep again. This is my favorite. He reminds part. me of guys from my hometown. That's what I like. About him. <laughs> the episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Cut work- my life into yeah. pieces. <laughs> if your work life balance is Save totally off. <laughs> And you're starting to feel burnout. Therapy can help. If you're about to break. BetterHelp's online therapy is an incredible tool. Whether Everything you're, you say to me. One step closer to the end. And I'm about to break. Whether you're working through a really serious crisis or you want someone to help you set some new goals, BetterHelp makes life's path easier to walk. You know, I have been considering annihilating my family for a while now. <laughs> Just uh, taking my wife, holding her underwater until there's no more vibrancy left in her No eyes. more chatting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got yeah. enough of the chats. It's oh, time for you to swim. Uh, oh, you had to fly regular class back from New Zealand? I'm so sorry. Help me, I'm poor. No. Ooh, that's a real one. <laughs> no, but hey, when I need to not kill my entire family and then myself and do the only brave thing a man can do, I like to get a hold of my better help therapist. There you go. Yeah. Uh, BetterHelp is completely online, so you can meet with a counselor whenever and whenever it works for you. You can meet with your therapist. I can't oh. wake up. <laughs> well, you can wake this Save guy up inside. Me. Over video call, phone call, or even message. It's easy to get started. Just take a quick quiz on their website, and BetterHelp's experts will match you Crawling with a therapist. Crawling in <laughs> if their first pick is, will, they will not heal. If their first pick isn't a winner, you can switch therapists at any time, no questions asked. In the season of giving, give I yourself never thought what you need with all the times that I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound, he does sound I was a highway man <laughs> <laughs> in the season of giving give yourself what you need with better help visit betterhelp.com slash mssp today to get 10% off your first month that's betterhelp help dot com slash mssp many a soldier shed his life blood on my blade <laughs> he's the coward of the county <laughs> oh, All right. wait your phone lock let me unlock it Face Attention, unlocked. this is a message from Aura oh, Frame. An Aura digital picture frame is the only gift this season that you can give to the whole family. Whether your brother is a working class hipster who wants to display his before and after photos 
cough, sweet baby bitch. Take my brother's name out of your mouth. What? You motherfuckers. Or you just stumped on what to get your mom and grandma for the holidays. And, or a frame will not disappoint. My grandmas are fucking dead. Yeah, dude. Thanks a fucking <laughs> lot. Listen to the podcast. You're <laughs> not a dog. All the dogs know both my grandmas my sweet mamas yep. are dead. Same. Yeah, this is a grandmotherless podcast. You can. How old is she? You have a grandma? <laughs> not for long. Everyone like you. This is King Tut's tomb. Just flickering. You got a nice one. You received a nice gift. I received one. Bert mm-hmm. Kreischer gave me one as a gift. What, a holiday, what a holiday treat. Wait, was it loaded? It might be loaded. I haven't plugged mm-hmm. it in yet. There I think it's fully loaded. Fun They're loaded. a great way, dude, for real. They're a great way to trade, you know what? <laughs> Nudes. Terabytes of illegal ch- <laughs> <laughs> you, Dude, that's a great prank. You send your buddy an aura loaded with CP? Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, turn it's it a, on. Show everyone your gift like from the Bert. Artwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Bob, I watch rumors that you and fucking Dwight Howard got nuts. Dude. I think all roads lead to sucking Dwight Howard eventually. I think eventually, if you just grind hard enough, you're just going to be at a party. You're invited to the sickest party. Like, there's Damn. so many fucking. Didn't you say gay dudes have the biggest dicks too? Yeah, statistically. So if you're a six ten black dude, gay guy, that's gay. It's the top of the mountain. His dick, Dwight Howard's dong must be. It's top of the mountain. Yeah, they say statistically gay guys have bigger penises than straight guys. Because it's some like hormonal hey, thing. Guess who's straight as hell, partner? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever wondering. Yeah. Dude, guess I, who's straight as hell? I had a like a. No, I stand by Kamala and I love her track record in Baltimore. You like what she did? I like what she did. Lock him up. That's true. That's Kamala, dude. That's me and Kamala on the same page. Lock him up. We need to incarcerate as many African Americans as possible. <laughs> Thank you, Kamala That's Harris. Your That's your ticket. That's your ticket. I'm gonna get a shirt. I'm gonna get American 3.0. Yo, you can do whatever Lock you want. Up. By the way, you can write whatever you want on it. <laughs> Increase the jail population. Increase the, the military industry <laughs> complex that we have, dude. It rules. We need to go. We need to go back to Iraq. That's America 3.0. Get back in there, oh, ruffle, for, ruffle for some feathers. For sure, dude. That's what I'm saying. We got to go over the Middle East and bo- we got to bomb. Corporations here. need zero tax cuts. I'm gonna give my dad zero one. taxation. Fuck my, that. My dad would be like, "Let's just bomb the whole Middle East and start over." And everyone's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dad policy would definitely be like, "France is gay." That's our number one <laughs> diplomatic measure. War on France. <laughs> War on France just by calling them gay. Turn the Middle East to glass. Start over. <laughs> They ought to do that, Shane. <laughs> Damn, I was in Phil's ass, too. He got a cold. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh. I heard him. He was a motherfucker about it. Mm-hmm. Dude, we got pizza. Stuck his hands all over the pizza. I was like, oh, you're man. such a fucking dickhead. Took a bite of a sub and put it back. What a dick. Chaos. What was it? When was this? Last night? Two nights ago, yeah. So, Saturday night, you guys had pizza party? Yes. We had some pizza. Pizza night's usually Friday night. Pizza night was, well, we you had guys, friends over. You guys bumped pizza night back for us and cooked bumped steaks? pizza for Saturday so that I stayed home and then argued with my dad. Classic Saturday night. What'd you, what'd Saturday you night fever. It was me and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're being an asshole. You're sick, dude. What if you have it? Yeah, really? Just go to your room. And he was like, you fuck, get out of my house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he yeah. touched all the za. He touched all the za. What the fuck? Why was he doing that? I think he was drunk. Was he really? I think he had a couple of drinks, and he was like, "You're being an asshole. It's a cold, Shane." And I was like, "Even if it's just a cold, stop touching all the food." Yeah, that that has to be the opposite of like dads pulling their daughters out of strip clubs. Like, you have to want your son to get into a TikTok house. You want really? Them in. You want them in? Oh, dude. because they become millionaires. They're they do super become, hot. That's dirty money, dude. They do become millionaires. None of them care. I just, I hate it. I would hate it too. I don't. No, it's funny as a you know fat thirty year old on Patreon. To criticize these jacked, jacked, jacked as fuck, I'll say yoked, jacked. bulking, currently bulking, currently gains, <laughs> currently gains, so I can fucking. Ha ha. What song would you do? I like mine with lettuce and tomatoes. <laughs> Just when you smile as you slowly show your butthole. <laughs> yeah, the camera down underneath with my sack up. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's good TikTok. You no, really I took think, a picture uh, of me last night. I was by the bed. Like, I'm always naked at nighttime. So she was like, go yeah. go see if you can make my go. She's been waking up every night at like, dude, 12 o'clock, 1130, just fully awake for like three hours. It's fucking nuts. 
So she was like, go try to put her to sleep. And uh, so we have like a baby monitor. She took a picture of me through the baby monitor. <laughs> I was naked, <laughs> just sitting in there. Because I would like put her in the crib and I just sit in the chair. So like I'm next so to her. So it's through the baby monitor? So dude, what is it, like night vision? <laughs> night vision, dude. It's so fucking fun. I was actually. probably look very scary in it. Dude. <laughs> it's probably like actually a scary photo. <laughs> oh my God, dude. You're Lena Dunkles. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I was Why are you dark? Why are you dark? Because <laughs> I was naked. I thank God I was holding my bird, dude. And she just snaps a picture of me Grinch bellied out. <laughs> I have a Grinch body to the max, dude. <laughs> this, your body doesn't make sense, dude. I've, <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen you. Sure, I've seen I'm you, dude. You, it's, a, it's a bad angle, dude. It's the craziest night angle. Vision, night vision adds like 30 pounds, dude. Night vision <laughs> adds giant tits, apparently. <laughs> Show the fucking dude. You gotta see that. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it's not my true body, dude. It's not my no, true body. No, don't show the camera. <laughs> Why would you show them? I'm leaving to dunk them, dude. I don't care. True, true. You should post that on your. Give me that. So I can't please. Either. Please let me post that on no, my Instagram. No, no, no. <laughs> Please. Dude. It's not an actual representation of my body, dude. You know I, know, I don't have fucking so tits. funny. I know you don't. No, it looks like you have tits, tits in it. Like... It looks like I have like fucking Bam Bam, Full. like Mark Henry tits, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. So she sends me that, and I was like... Oh, that, was like, that would piss me off so much. <laughs> and like we were already kind of in. A so you're just sitting in a rocking chair in your kids' room like that? Yeah, you're I'm terrifying. Tra- Why? That's terrifying. I'm trying to get her to go to bed. You look like the witch from <laughs> the witch, dude. You look like the witch. I do. I do. <laughs> exactly like the witch. Exactly like, like the witch. Uh, <laughs> and someone was probably like Matt. You're like, okay. what? So imagine, imagine what? that. Go imagine, to sleep. Imagine me seeing that and being like. People need to see me on HBO. <laughs> People need to reconcile this. It's like, no, man. You just keep yeah. that to yourself. It's like, yeah. either you get shredded and get on X Men, mm-hmm. or you just kind of like put on a oh, scarf man. and you know you're somebody's eccentric yeah, best friend. Yeah, just be. F- yeah, the, I don't know what. Yeah, the. I mean, dude, night vision turns you into a creature, dude. Night vision's actually. I've been working creature. hard on my body, dude. And I saw that. I was like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It must be like a fish eye lens on that or something. Dude. <laughs> it's on the dead eye, dude. I, sh- I should have left my dong uncovered, dude. I could have got like a fat fucking dong oh. shot, dude. Especially, if, dude, if you had a penis in that, that'd be oh. the worst photo of all time. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, you had let's a, be real. a penis. Sticking. I did have a penis in that. I was yeah. covering it. Let's be real. But damn, yeah, true. Yeah, I've, even I've even naked in the dark, I'll cover a penis. You have to by myself in a room. I'd still be like. No, no one sees this somehow. Hopefully, there's not a night vision camera I forgot about. Dude, man, someone room raiders you and sees your penis. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that, that be, picture is it's so funny, dude. That picture. Oh my god, I was actually, I'd be, I would especially you have like your sleep cap on. I, your, <laughs> I have my mask thing. I usually block all the light out. Dude, that picture. I would. Up, dude. I'd be so mad at whoever took that. <laughs> Let me see it again. I know this isn't great for that. <laughs> it's the pixelation made me look like I had titties, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> My belly. I'll, I'll take the belly. The belly's mine. That was, you know, that's just a, that's after nighttime eating, dude. <laughs> and I'm in a rocking chair, so I'm, mo- I'm moving a little. <laughs> <laughs> craziest picture. Dude, what, are you, what are you holding? My Is bird. That, no, on the, <laughs> your other hand. Let me see. Let me see what I'm holding. Oh, maybe nothing. Maybe it's the bottom of the chair. All right. Oh, I'm man. probably just clutching a blanket, dude. Yo, that picture is so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> it's, That's... it's like a Dali painting, dude. It looks, like it looks like my I'm melting. <laughs> like scary. Uh, Fuck, dude. dude. That needs to be released to the public. Brittany will be so mad. She gets so mad when risque pictures are released. We can cover your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one too. You can cover I... the least embarrassing part. No, I can. I'll. Uh, that, that would be a good one to release, honestly. That's important for the people to see that picture. If there's any girls out there, they'd be like, ew. <laughs> ew. Suddenly I'm the heartthrob of the group. <laughs> ew. You know, it shakes out that bad. <laughs> Seriously, Matt naked. <laughs> He's like 70. <laughs> and fat. Fuck me. He's like a fat 70. Oh. guy. He was from 97 to 01. Yep. Let's move to Jefferson. Jefferson. He's number three. That's 01 to 09. He was a two-term guy. Adams was a Federalist. Washington was obviously independent. Jefferson was a Democratic Republican. He was the first Mr. Pres- president. 
right when he got in, the French and the British started going to war. So everybody in America was like, fuck England. Also, France just helped us. Yeah. Fuck England. Let's join it. And he was, he was, oh, the he only loved one. the French. He loved the revolution in French. Yeah, he did. The, the Adams didn't because it was bloody and horrible. And he didn't like the French. He didn't. And, and, uh, and Jefferson loved the revolution and he loved, he had all these, his friends over there. He spent a lot of his life there. Yeah. But they started, Americans started being like, fuck England. Let's join France in the war. He was the only one with the foresight to be like, we have 40 guys in our military and three boats. Yeah. Let's shut the fuck up. Let's not. So he declared neutrality, and everybody called him a pussy. Then England started blocking his, like, fucking ships. I think he didn't he? He might have been the one who said, we're just not going to trade with either of them. So then our econo- the American economy just plummeted. England started just saying, if you're not trading with us, we're just going to confiscate your ships, steal, kidnap all the sailors, make them join the British Navy. What? So he was getting punked by England. You're talking about... Jefferson. Jefferson. Well, it's interesting because Adams, what ended his presidency was a fake rumor that Jefferson started, that Adams was trying to start a war with mm. the, and start a Navy and do all this stuff. And mm. it was all fake. But then it ended up kind of haunting Jefferson because yeah. the, the truth of, about all that ended up r- fucking him a lot. Huh. I, one thing interesting about Jefferson is because he's so famous for having had a slave and having, having had like 50,000 slaves yeah. or whatever, that not that many. Mm. Um, and having had children with his slave, and I don't think he ever even gave he her didn't freedom. Him. Didn't free. He didn't free the kids. He didn't free he didn't a couple. Of, kids, he freed a couple. Free of her freed two. Yeah, and the rest he kept enslaved until he died. And what was interesting about them? Damn, he did is, the ultimate because I said so. Is so, <laughs> <laughs> dad, can I stop being a slave? He's like, no. Yeah. I said no. <laughs> they were like white. Really, his slave children. The woman he had. The woman. That he Sally. had kids with, Sally, yeah. was like half white or like was very light skinned. Yeah, I think her mother, because her mother was in his family for a long yes, time. Yes, and his dad was fucking like, yes. I mean, it was like, what? she was kind of a product of his father. I'm not what? sure about that. I, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, sure yeah. about that. But it's <laughs> an, but an interesting Whoa. thing about him in terms of slavery <laughs> and, and American politics is that his first um, elected position was in the... Uh, Virginia legislator. He was like a, a, a House of Reps guy in Virginia. And the very first act he ever did, first thing he ever did as a as a politician was to propose a bill in the Virginia uh, government uh, to abolish slavery in the state of Virginia. Hmm. It was the first thing he did. Whoa. Of course, he got shot down, but it was his... It was his desire and his dream. Yeah, because he was big on that with the French Revolution. Yes, with and Lafayette the whole and yeah, yes, and all of these guys, all of these early guys, wanted slavery out, but yeah. the, there was no way the South was going to do it. Yeah, and they wanted the Southern because um, so the choice was to have like just two countries or four countries over here. Mm-hmm. Or have a unified country and just deal with it. Yeah, we're gonna have slavery, but create a framework. Yeah, where in the future, when it becomes possible, when things change, when things get more modern, we can that we can get rid of it in the future. And I could be wrong, but I think the North had abolished slavery early, like eighteen oh six, which is while Jefferson's in office. I could be wrong. I don't know. It was around either. the exact same time as England. In fact, maybe before oh, the, really? the North. We were right. Us Northerners, we got it right. A fun Jefferson story that I like is that when he was in Paris, he had this woman, a, a girlfriend named Co- something Causeway or something. His wife died when he was pretty young, mm. and she made him promise on her deathbed that he would never have another woman, which is a horrible thing to do. <laughs> yeah, fuck, To man. a young man that you're fucking, yeah, it's like, not yeah, even man. somebody to take help, take care of the kids they had. It's like, no, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, but he's, a, he's oh for sure. <laughs> so it was part of the reason that all of, it, including Sally Hemings, that his loves were all secret because he was ashamed of every woman that he loved after that. That's hot. And so there was a woman in in uh, uh, Paris. Was she was a British painter, and her husband. She was a woman. She was married, but she was a painter, and she fell in love with Thomas Jefferson, and they were very much in love with each other. But then the way they broke up was very funny to me because. <laughs> He was in, he wrote her these beautiful letters. She was in love with him. He was in love with her. But then um, the French, when he was leaving France, they wanted a great portrait of him to put in the National Gallery. And they said to him, you can choose any painter in the world. 
And he was like, no, I want, you know, a real guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his girlfriend was like, why not me? And he's like, baby, come on. I mean, like, you're good. Fuck. You're, you're good. good, but you're not like you're not. fucking grown man. Good. You're not like fucking. I'm not for history. True. These guys were his. That's the weirdest thing. How history mind. They were like knowing they were going to get they sucked knew, into dude. history, which is crazy to yeah. think about. So here's a good one because we got to speed it up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he goes over. So Napoleon's in there mm-hmm. in France. Yeah. Post revolution. This is the this is the Louisiana Purchase. They sent James Monroe over. That was his bro. Mm-hmm. He goes to France. They thought they were negotiating the sale of just the port of New Orleans. This is all thanks in part to the fucking Haitian Revolution, which fucked France. Look into the Haitian Revolution. Yeah. It rules. Uh, he gets over there. Monroe finds out, oh, they're trying to sell all of the Louisiana. Like, it's from, it's from New Orleans to the Rockies, to yeah. Canada. It's what? huge. From the Appalachians to the Rockies, basically. And uh, they didn't have time to consult Congress. So Thomas Jefferson just bought it on the spot, yeah. which he was like, I abused the fuck out of my power. And he was, that was his whole thing is government should have no power. Yeah. He was against any. Federal- well, that's what Jefferson's whole life was like doing fucked up things and then saying nobody should be able to like, save <laughs> yeah. slavery. He's like, people that need to stop having slavery. He's fucking a slave. And it's like, somebody's yeah. got to stop this. We got to stop this. That's yeah. Somebody's got to stop that. this. Somebody's got to stop fucking these. Slaves. Yeah. Well, the weekend. I wish it could be me. Got six kids. But I need to fuck this one right now. <laughs> yeah. Those arguments must have been crazy. Dude. All right. The, uh, but yeah, that was big because that secured the southern port. And, then we and, had, and Monroe was, was Secretary of State. Monroe, yeah. And then wasn't he the... Uh, um, no, 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 Madison. Madison. Madison's Madison, next. Because usually the Secretary of State would end up being pre- president. Vice president at this point. Although, who was it? Was... All you have to do is like get his cane.
My dad, he's a good, good guy. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> but he's good. He's like a good, he's a good alcoholic. He's not hurting anybody. But every once in a while, he always has an excuse while he's drinking. That's what's funny about it. Like, he can never just get hammered and be like, yeah, I got fucked up. Like, it's always, like, you'll see him on, like, a Monday. You'll be like, damn, it's Monday you're getting fucked up? He's like, it's fucking, it's Monday night football. <laughs> Have a couple of drinks, jeez. You'll see him on, like, a Tuesday. You'll be like, damn, it's Tuesday you're getting fucked up? He's like, it's fucking, there's no football. <laughs> what the hell? And then my sister does heroin, and, uh... And that one, we're like, you do need to, you know, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> Which sucks for her, because if she played guitar, everybody would be like, ah, you know. <laughs> yeah. But instead, she's a hairdresser, so it's not as cool. Relax. It's my family. It's my family. Don't worry about it. Actually, based on this crowd, I'm sure it's actually a lot of your guys. <laughs> families and that's all right we're allowed to talk about it 